Warhammer 40k Kill Team. Well, what can I say? I absolutely love this game. So addicted. I have 15 kill teams so far, but my plan is to, uh, well, to have all of them. And that's the thing about love about this game is you can get kill teams, well, without spending an absolute fortune. Obviously, I've got some 3D printed uh, parts here, the old kill zone board, as well as obviously the walls. I'll leave links in the description, guys, where you can get these walls. Obviously, you've got some nice, normal looking walls. And obviously, recently, the infected walls, which are pretty awesome. And it's a Kickstarter for the infected walls, which I believe started today. So go check that out. Obviously, having the 3D printer means I can print out so much more of my stuff for my Warhammer 40k kill teams. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. So as you can see here, I've got some little markers that I use, uh, obviously 3D printed, um, as well as little markers to indicate the, uh, the people's health. I've got my little laser line, which I like, just for line of sight. Um, I say, yeah, I, I, I really am so hooked on this game. Uh, yeah, me and my mate play every week, and we change the board up, and we do a bit of the old, well, we, we play Capture the Flag. And this orc is my most recent team, um, the Traitor Orc Marines, which is pretty cool. So obviously when you buy the game, um, you have to work out obviously distances where the guys can move, as well as where they have a shoot um, and dash and all the rest of it. So you use these little markers. Uh, these come with all the kill teams. So I've got this on the basic kill team, as well as the into the dark kill teams. Um, and yeah, obviously there's basic markers with colors on to represent sort of distances. And obviously, you kind of get quite a few of these, the more kill team sets you buy. Um, and yeah, they're all right, nothing special. But obviously, I've recently come across, um, well, this. And as you can see, it's a whole variety of markers. Um, and yeah, they're just awesome. And these are by Thunderhead Studio. I'll leave a link down below, guys. Go check them out. Do a whole variety of, well, 3D printed stuff, which is awesome. But I'm sure you uh, eagle-eyed spotted people out there will see the ones that I instantly wanted to use and it's the lovely orc faced one so yeah this is the one that I, uh, I 3d printed and as you can see it, it comes fully supported which is awesome because I am just pants at putting supports in uh, obviously there's one sort of side here but on the reverse is the other side so you just print out two of the same and I did that on my, uh, my Anycubic 3d printer and they both came out perfectly uh, as you can see though I haven't done my usual priming I primed in white um, just because I like the idea of making these in sort of like rust bucket looking things. So yeah, didn't need to do all the sort of the, the dark sort of thing. Uh, still using the speed paint though, um, mainly because I just find these cover so nicely. Uh, and obviously it will leave some areas darker than others, uh, which is all good. As I say, this is going to be a rust bucket looking marker. So that didn't take too long at all. And in my previous video, I did sort of like a rusty wall. And I found the best sort of colours for that is this lovely sort of orangey look. Um, so I did that sort of all over. Uh, no real sort of pattern here. It is just higgledy piggledy, just dabbing here, there, and everywhere. And I also used a bit of yellow as well. Um, didn't let the first one dry. Went over the second, second sort of well, the first lot with the second lot. If that makes sense? I don't know. I'm talking rubbish now. Uh, you know what I mean? I went over the first lot of paint with the second lot of paint. Didn't let it dry, just because obviously I wanted it to sort of mix in and merge together. So once it's on there then sort of trying to get some of the paint off the brush onto my little uh, sort of tissue there. Um, and yeah, and then sort of like trying to merge it in together. As you can see, my brain hasn't quite kicked in the gear, uh, but sometimes I think it's just funnier leaving in the mistakes. <laughs> so yeah, good old rust bucket. Uh, but obviously as it's orcs, I want it to be sort of green uh, with obviously the rust sort of coming through. So again, same sort of technique I used in the previous video with the rust, uh, using this old scouring sort of a pad thingy uh, just to try and like dab the paint on so it doesn't go on too regular it leaves little uh, little bits here and there uh, and hopefully gives the impression that the rust is sort of coming through from uh, from underneath um, again not being too neat and precise here really going all over the place uh, I did go over with a darker green just over the top not sure if that made it better or worse to be honest um, yeah I may re revisit this one because I'm happy with it but I think I possibly could have done a better job with the green. Uh, although, possibly because of the, the texture on the, uh, the markers, maybe. I'm not too sure. But either way, as you can see, I'm now just slopping on loads of wash. Again, this is a wash I've got in uh, one of the Citadel pots. But it's a combination of a few washes I've got. Um, yeah, just I, I like using Citadel pots. I know everyone moans about them and knocking them over. Uh, I've yet to do that. But, um, 
yeah, I prefer using them pots because obviously you just open the lid and you just dip in, which I think is really good because you don't waste any paint. So as you can see here, again, using the speed paints, I want to go with a bronze look. Um, but as you'll see in a moment, I once it's dried, I actually think, oh, you can't really see the bronze that much because everything looks a bit sort of darkish. So I then decide, yeah, I want it to be a bit brighter than this. So I go with some more speed paint and good old gold. So as you can see, speed paints, yeah, even if I'm not using them for miniatures and I'm using them for bits of terrain, um, again, I just love the way they cover. Uh, and yeah, so if I've got them, I like using them, I'm going to use them. So yeah, went over a bit of gold and this definitely stood out a whole lot more than the uh, the copper bronze. Um, and yeah, I was a bit more happy with that. And then, so you've obviously got the black and white checker things here, as well as the numbers. Obviously, these numbers are generally painted, uh, well, in the other markers, they don't actually have numbers. They just have the uh, the colours to represent sort of the, the distance. Um, so yeah, I like the fact that this one actually does say the numbers. Not that it's very difficult, because obviously you need to be within like one inch of something or an objective to capture it or to open it if it's a door. Um, general movement is the um, sort of three dots of two inches. And you can do a dash for three inches. Uh, if you've never played Kill Team before, you probably think, think I'm talking nuts. Uh, and yeah, I probably am. But uh, yeah, it makes sense if you play Kill Team. So yeah, black and white squares. Obviously, this is kind of like the last thing I was doing. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Painted the inside bits white. And then just going over the top with the uh, the black. As yeah, pretty much everything uh, orkish has the old checker flag sort of thing on it. Which is, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, love these little markers. Um, printed some out for my mate. He's got his own sort of set. Just need to get them uh, them print uh, painted. But um, yeah, it's so nice now to have well my own sort of markers for well the different teams I've got. So I probably will eventually be printing out all the markers. Um, just come out and look. They're awesome looking. So let me get to check out Thunderhead Studio. Link down below, uh, as well as links to say both the. Um, the terrain parts you can see on my kill zone board um yeah I, I love this game so if you're new here um get prepared to see lots of kill zone stuff and if you've been here a while then apologies because you've already seen lots of kill zone stuff so this is my mate's one um yeah can't wait to get this painted as well i think i'm going to keep this one simple uh with the black obviously the main sort of background color and then any raised areas i'm going to do in a gold and then obviously paint the colours in their numbers. So guys, let me know in the comments if you know anyone who does anything awesome to do with kill teams, uh, 3D printed wise, as yeah, I just love 3D printing stuff, uh, especially if it is for a game that I, uh, I'm gonna play lots of. Big thank you to all my patrons, as well as Chaos Cards for helping support the channel. Links down below, you get a discount from Chaos Cards, guys. Okay, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.